this week we are delighted to be with you in your living rooms and this is our time um, to celebrate the goodness of God this week and to praise his name and so it is lovely to be with you and thank you so much for sharing your jokes, your good news stories and everything that you have been up to. We really love seeing those pictures during the week, they're a real blessing um, and so we really appreciate you taking the time to send those in. So a few jokes to start us off, okay, we're ready? Um, thank you, Jack, for sending them in. How do you get pick two on a bus? I don't know, how do you get pick two on a bus? You Pokemon! <laughs> Brilliant. What did one snowman say to the other snowman? I don't know, what did one snowman say to the other snowman? Do you smell carrots? <laughs> And thank you also to Henry, you sent us in so many jokes, we had a really good laugh at those, but we're not going to read them all out today, um, but we're going to read two, so thank you for sending them in. What do you call a girl who has writing on her front and on her back? I don't know, what do you call a girl who has writing on her front and on her back? Paige! <laughs> Brilliant! And what do you call a boy who has a really loud voice? I don't know, what do you call a boy with a really loud voice? Mike! <laughs> Brilliant, thank you so much and we would love to hear more of your jokes so please do keep sending those in. Right guys, let's get ready to rate our week. So let's get our thumbs out. After three, one, two, three, cha-ching! We've had a brilliant week, Rosie. What's been your best bit this week? Uh, my best bit this week has been playing with Isaac. Playing with Isaac, you're a brilliant big sis, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Well, lovely to hear that the Crangle household are feeling much better. So that is a real blessing and thanks to God for that. Um, and Charlie, Harry and Archie got to come out in their tents this week. Um, so I'm sure that was lots of fun. We loved those pictures, boys. Thanks for sending those in. Um, Martha, you've been busy. You sent off one of our colouring sheets, which says our God is an awesome God on it to your granddad. And he had um, time and a really um, good effort colouring that in. So thank you for sending that to him. I'm sure he was really encouraged by that. Amy, you've also been really busy because you've made flapjacks. And you delivered them to a sick relative um, along with a lovely card. So well done. And see those flapjacks, they look so good. They're on our Facebook page. So the first Sunday mommy, we're back, mommy, we would mommy, love mommy, to mommy, see mommy, and mommy. taste enjoy mommy, those blackjacks. Yes, Isaac. I, I, yes, have you got a joke? Have you got a joke? Uh, this is the Bible, isn't it? And we're just about to start reading it. So this is a hands-on Bible. This is a really great Bible if you're aged between 6 and 12 and you're looking for a Bible. This would be a really good one to have. Rosie, you're enjoying it, aren't you? Yeah. And today we are looking at a passage in Lamentations um, and it's in chapter 3. But before we read it, let's wash our hands and let's hang them out to dry and let's talk to God. God, thank you um, for our good news stories this week. Thank you for how we have enjoyed the sunshine, we have been able to enjoy time with family and spend time maybe doing things we don't normally get to do. So God, for that, we give you thanks. We pray for Amy's sick relative that they would get better soon. And so God, as we look at this um, verse in Lamentations, we pray today that we would be encouraged um, by your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the book of Lamentations is found in the Old Testament. And it's also known as the Book of Tears, which is a bit funny, isn't it? Um, and the reason it's called the Book of Tears is because it looked back on a day which was really sad. And it remembered a time whenever Jerusalem had been defeated by its enemies. The temple, the place of worship, had been torn down and God's people had become slaves. And so the city really, really suffered. And for us today, it's a bit sad, isn't it? We can feel sad at times because we're not getting to see our family and our friends. We're not getting to come to our place of worship. Um, and our town, Bangor, our local businesses and um, the 
organisations in Bangor are really suffering because of this virus and so it can feel like today is a sad day but we're going to be encouraged this morning by these verses in Lamentations and so let's read chapter 3 verses 22 and 23. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. And so Jeremiah here um, dared to hope. He remembered um, a truth which is really important that our God is a faithful God. Our God's promises are always um, true. They're always yes and amen. God is always faithful to uh, his word, to what he says. Um, and he tells us that his love never ends, that his mercies are new every morning. And um, thinking of that word mercy, um, we can think of his blessing. His blessings for us are new every morning. Um, those things that we don't deserve and um, that we get to enjoy. And the most important of those being the love that God has for us. His love is available to us every single day. And so Jeremiah remembered the truth of his God and how our God is faithful, that his love never ends, and that each and every day God's love, this bigger love that we've been thinking about, this love which is sweeter, is constant and is always available to us. So I wonder what's the most important part of your morning? What do you most enjoy? Rosie, what's the best bit about your morning? You find it a bit hard to get up in the morning, don't you? Yeah. You're a wee bit of a night owl, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Rosie um, likes to lie in, don't you? So whenever you get up, what is the best bit of the morning? Um, well, I like um, going to see Isaac in the morning. You do. You run in to see Isaac first thing in the morning, don't you? So yeah. you enjoy that. And um, what's your favourite breakfast? Mm, my favourite breakfast. Waffles, eggs and bacon. Waffles, eggs and bacon. And where would you get those every single Saturday morning? Where would you get those? Granny's house. At Granny's house. So Rosie goes for a sleepover, don't you? Yeah. On Friday nights. Not now, obviously. Um, and every single weekend is spoiled with waffles, bacon, egg. And we go to Kets. Okay, yeah, and after breakfast they get to go to fires, much excitement, the best shop whenever you're a seven-year-old girl. Um, so yes, breakfast is one of your favourite meals, isn't it? When, yeah. Especially when it's at Granny's house. And so God um, blesses us each morning and we get to enjoy running in to see our brother or our sister or our mum or our dad or whoever's at home. We get to enjoy having breakfast and maybe it's a special breakfast like Rosie has on a Saturday morning at Granny's but also maybe it is Cheerios in the morning or a piece of toast and there's a blessing of the goodness of God as we enjoy that food at home. And so it's really good each day to begin our day remembering the goodness of God and to celebrate and to give him thanks for another day where his love is available to us and so we've heard some good news stories this week which we're really enjoying um, but as we look forward into the next coming week I want you to think particularly about how God is showing you his mercy and his love each and every morning. I want you to think carefully about how he is speaking to you or what you have seen him do in your family over the week. Um, take time to notice how God is at work and how he is making his love available to you and blessing you as um, you spend time together in your home. And do share those thoughts with us. We would love to hear you. Um, we are going to sing together. Um, so we're just going to go and find Ryan and Isaac to do that and um, a couple of songs, one's an older song um, that maybe some mum and dads will know. Um, Kids from Big Tree House, you will have sang it before definitely but it's not one that we do a lot of so you'll have to um, remember it well but you'll catch on because it's it's easy to do. Much better. Okay everybody, so this is a song about God's faithfulness. 
um, and how great God is to us. This is the day that the Lord has made. And God has made this day and he's made every day for us to enjoy, to enjoy each other, to enjoy talking to each other, to enjoy having fun with each other and singing songs. So this is the day. So if you don't know this song, easy one. I'll just teach you how it goes and then we're all going to sing it together. So. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it.
much for joining us. Just before we go, a couple of things to um, remind you all. Um, keep working on that logo for our big tree house. Don't forget about our competition. Um, so we would love to see your designs. And don't forget that it needs to work in both black and white and colour. Um, if you are really enjoying a bit of artwork at the minute, um, we would also love you to draw us a picture of church. And so that can be as creative as you would like it to be. You can draw it, um, paint it, sketch it, use pastels, whatever you like. And it can be the physical bit, building of church or it can be the people of um, First Bangers. So whatever um, you feel you would like to draw, we would love to have an art display whenever we return to church. Um, all one more church back to you. Um, so yeah, we would love to um, be able to frame those and get them up on the wall so you can get drawing, sketching. Um, also, we had chatted about getting a um, poster going, let's say turn around. We would love to hear why you think your church family is the best. So Rosie, what have you said? My church family is the best because... write down your response to so fill in the gap at the bottom why um, is our church family the best get your parents take a photo of that and send it to me and i will upload those on our facebook page and we'll get a stream of those going just before we go one final thing oh star hope you're not sick <laughs> We'll see.